What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. And today I got my test bench to build. So I got my power supply you guys saw in the previous video and my M.2 card. I also have, I actually have two 16 gig kits of RAM. So I wanted RGB on it and ended up buying a black set because it was on sale. But then shortly after white set went on sale and I actually screwed up because I thought this was RGB and it's not. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this one on this build or not. I may put all 32 in it, I don't know. Just because I may do some gaming benchmarks on this rig eventually, that's why I got 256 gigs of space instead of just 120. So this will get loaded with Windows when it's done. And then you guys saw this board in, and we'll take it out of the packaging, but you guys saw this board in other videos when I tested it, so I know that it's working. So it's my Z390 board. Uh, pretty decent board. It was I got it for a pretty good deal, and I will need to find a N.2 screw. It looks like I should have one laying around, but it looks like they may have taken them off. Let me check under this. Yeah, it looks like I need to go source a screw and possibly a riser. I think I have one in my basement though. I, I looked the other day, uh, so I'll have to go grab that. But then it's all going inside this Thermaltake P3 case. Now I don't plan on putting the glass on it, but the rest of the case I will build out uh, and I will vertically mount the GPU. So this case comes with that. It comes with the stuff to vertically mount it. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, off camera, I'm gonna get the case out of the box, get some of this stuff out of the way at least so I can put this case together and then uh, I'll get it together get the board on it and stuff. So I'll be right back once I get this out of the box. So I have the case all out and it does come with instructions. So I'll probably have to read. I've never put one of these together, but it's got these stand up holes, which I will use uh, just for show. And then it's got the feet, which are pretty solid because I plan on putting this, moving these boxes and putting this back here. And that's where it's just gonna sit. And I do have a power meter that I wired up and I may mount it to like over here because I mean it's still in the packaging but you can see all the stuff here so the board is going to be here this is made for like a radiator and stuff but I'm not using a radiator because it's open air I'm going to just use it and then I have the ribbon cable for the GPU I'll put that off to the side for next I don't need it and then here's all the other hardware for it and brackets things like that uh, believe this is the GPU bracket is where it's gonna sit so I'm actually gonna put this together off camera because I've never done one of these before so this case may take me a few minutes to put together um, but once I get it together I'll come back I'll show you guys it and then we'll get the parts onto the actual frame so let me go ahead and put this together all right so it's coming along so i got the feet on i have this is the back support for the power supply i didn't put it on yet though and i got the standoffs on now it came with this little nifty like thumb screw looking thing where it's just like plopped on top of the standoff and i was able to just like spin it on with a screwdriver to help out now the next thing is i did locate an M.2 screw. So what I'm going to do is install that onto this motherboard and put the RAM on it. Now I'm just gonna start off with all of the RAM uh, just because I really have no other use for it and I pulled a stick off of this. So there's no sense in me just storing RAM right now. I might as well have it in the PC. So. Before I do that, we'll put the M.2 on. Now I'll probably need my precision screwdriver here and get it installed. Now, like I said, I went with 256 gigabytes just so I can install some extra stuff such as a few Steam games, uh, you know, Battlefield 2024 being out in beta right now, it does, you know, I have a lot of people like playing video games and stuff still. So benchmarking GPUs 
on games is something I wanted to do for a while. So hopefully with this, because this does have an i5-9400. Uh, now I'm glad it has a 9400 because I can still use onboard graphics when I am testing mining out. Uh, so I mean, it's just little things like that that help make a difference. But for gaming, no, obviously I'll be using that dedicated graphics card. Let's go ahead. I gotta get a prescription screwdriver. Just gotta find the right one. I think it's this one. And that is on. Now what I did, I was having trouble just hand tightening it so I just put the little screw in the tiniest bit into the standoff and then use that to screw it in just a little trick of the trade there and now if you never installed these before you're pretty much just going to go in at an angle Let me see here like line the little tab up going in at an angle and it just pops in and then you press it down onto the standoff and screw it in. So I just have to screw it in now. So let me go ahead and do that. Get my little my little M.2 screw. You don't gotta get crazy tight on these. I mean, you don't wanna strip stuff out, but that's in. Uh, it's a Gen 3, like I said, just SP cheap M.2, cheap Amazon one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this RAM on. So let me get all the RAM out. Now I thought about returning one of these, but I bought it. It was my own mistake, so I didn't. I just kept it. So this this rig's gonna be running 32 gigs. Much, very unnecessary for this, but if I ever need 16 gigs, I'll just take it off of this. Like if I'm building a PC or something and somebody's like oh i want 16 gigs of ram i'll just take one of these sticks and sell to them at a discounted price probably to help keep keep other builds underway or maybe i can land some white rgb ones the reality is, is people aren't even going to see what color ram stick it is really once the rgb is going but i'll have two sticks going so it'll be better than nothing So I do really like this Ballistics RAM uh, by Crucial. It actually looks really nice and it's built really well. Uh, the heat spreaders are pretty cool looking too. Uh, you know, I, I, I never really had any issues with it. So I do like to use it in a lot of builds and now all of it is in. Now, when I bought this board, there's one tab down here that's broke off. So I do need to make sure that that's just snug in, but it's still in there and I'm pretty sure it's still hooked in. It's just a tab that's broken a little bit. I don't know. I guess he was a little rough taking the RAM out or something. But uh, next thing is I'm going to get this motherboard onto this. And I'm probably just going to do it off camera because everyone's seen motherboard installs before. So to keep the video a little short, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the power supply on too. Now, when I put the power supply on, it's going to rest on this bracket. And then this one is going to go around it to support it more this way. So it's gonna bolt to the case there and underneath the case to hold the power supply up. So I'm gonna get those on and then we're almost in the home stretch of just putting, I'm still gonna put, I'm probably gonna put these on still. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'll probably put them on just so I can pick it up with them. Uh, but I'm gonna get the power supply motherboard onto this and then I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, the motherboard's on, power supply is on, and I did put the little support bracket on there. Now there is like spots to screw a little more in, but I have it on the frame and the bottom of the case. And then this is, so this is actually held pretty solid. Now, even with just this back brace and it screwed on tight, it was still pretty solid, but this just gives it that little extra support in case it's banged around a little bit. I mean, it really shouldn't be. Now, pretty much what I have to do is I have all my cabling here, so I'll need my 24 pin. I'll need a CPU pin, which is here. I just need the one, and that's how I'm going to power my motherboard. Now, these front panel 
I'm not even gonna wire them up because I don't need the lights, I don't need the power button to work, I don't need those USBs. If later on down the road I decide I do, I can always go back and wire them. But there's also on this board up here, a power button switch, which is good for this board. If not, I would just use a screwdriver and jump it. So I got those, I'm gonna pull one of these out for now, but I'm not running the GPU, so I don't really need to run the power to that. And I have no other peripherals right now on this, so I don't need to run any power. There's not gonna be any fans. I'm not putting fans here like a lot of people do. Normally with the kit, the glass here, the fans would just blow air and it would just kind of disperse out, but I'm not putting the glass on. So this is gonna be naturally aired uh, in the room. So I do need to install the vertical mount, which is over here. So this will just get it out of the bag here. So this is just gonna mount underneath here and I'm gonna vertically mount my GPUs this way. So the ribbon cable is gonna come off down underneath and then I'm gonna mount the GPU here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the wiring and install the vertical mount. I'm not gonna put a GPU on it yet, but then pretty much this test bench is gonna be complete. Now I, I still may put these bars on, I'm not sure yet. I don't see why I shouldn't, but I'm gonna finish the wiring part and getting that on the real quick and then I'll show you the finished product pretty much. All right, so here it is, pretty much the finished product. Uh, case looks great. I'm glad I went with the white, and I do kind of like the mix match of the black and white RGB uh, RGB sticks. Well, the two white sticks and then the two black RGB sticks give it a pretty good look. 32 gigs of RAM obviously is overkill for this. Uh, even if I was gaming benchmark, 16 gigs would have been fine, but 30, I have it, so I might as well put it on there. Uh, a few things if I was rebuilding this case, I would do, uh, I would put this vertical mount on before I did the power supply. Uh, obviously I would do the motherboard first like I did. And then I would do the power, I would do this because one, this was a little tougher and there's some mounts underneath that were pretty close to the power supply. Um, and I didn't want to risk dropping a screw into the fan of the power supply because then I could have trouble and never even getting out making this pretty much useless. Also, there was two more screws underneath to hold the bracket for the ribbon cable for the extender. So if I were to do that, obviously I'd do that first to have this fully set up. And then I would go to the power supply. Now with the power supply, I would actually mount this bracket to the power supply and then to the case because it just made it, would make it a little bit easier. But all in all, I mean, it's pretty solid. Now, this motherboard, since I tested it before, I went in and changed some of the bio settings. So this should power up upon gaining power. And there it goes. So. It fires up just upon gaining power now. I did test this motherboard, so I know that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, normally, before I do a build like this, I'd like to just test it on a box, especially when I buy used parts like this. But I'm going to install Windows to this over the next day or so, and then hopefully get a GPU on this. So hopefully in the next week, you'll see me starting to test GPUs with crypto mining, and hopefully eventually I'll get a monitor out here and a mouse and keyboard and we'll do some gaming on it to test some gaming on different um, graphics cards to try and get some benchmarks. But thanks for checking this video out. Hope you guys like the new test bench. Uh, I like it. It's pretty much how I'm gonna have it. I may put a watt meter over here. I'm not sure yet. I'd have to build one if I'm going to do so. But just for crypto mining purposes of getting watt wattage at the wall. Um, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you know, check out this merch store in the description below. Help support the channel. Help me make keep making content. But thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for more.